Hello, I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Yesterday, we talked about order of volatility. Today, we're going to focus in a little bit more on what we discussed yesterday. We said that if the machine is on, uh, the most important thing to grab first, uh, because of the amount of change that can be made to it, is the RAM or random access memory. So the machine is on, we're going to introduce a USB drive and a piece of software uh, to the system so that we can effect the imaging of the RAM. Uh, you might ask yourself, why do we need the RAM? Why is it so important? Well, more and more today, it becomes incredibly important in many forensic investigations, uh, simply for what lives inside the RAM. There's a great deal of data inside the RAM that doesn't exist anywhere else on the system, um, depending on how you're doing your logs, which is to say that, uh, yeah, you better be grabbing your RAM. For example, uh, uh, running processes are going to be in your RAM. If you shut the machine off and then forensically image it, you'll have no idea what processes were running at the time of acquisition because the machine is off. Uh, outbound uh, network connections, the things that you would find within netstat commands, uh, your encryption keys, BitLocker, for example, if you have a machine that uh, is encrypted with BitLocker, that BitLocker key will be resident in the memory. And if you image the RAM first and then find yourself locked out of the machine, well, you can always extract that key out of the RAM. A little known key that can often be found in the RAM is a ransomware key. Yeah, you heard it right. For example, in the WannaCry ransomware, if the user hadn't have rushed to shut the machine off so fast and had just isolated it from the network, if the RAM was forensically imaged, the key could have been extracted from the RAM. For many types of ransomware, the encryption used is symmetric encryption. The key that encrypts is also the key that decrypts. You're paying for them to send you a key that you already have. So that's another good reason to not get rid of the RAM. Uh, many other things, uh, fileless malware runs inside the RAM. Things that are hidden inside other processes. If you don't image the RAM and you're called to task about your imaging process, and you have to explain to someone why you threw away 8 or 16 gigabytes of data from the computer, you may have a very difficult time coming up with, with uh, reasonable exp explanations of that. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about checking for encryption and why that's important. So until tomorrow, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.